So today, um, I'm going to be taking a look at this generator that I have here. It's a, let's see, a Ryobi 2200, 1800 watt, dang, what is this? Yo, it's free though, it came with my truck, so we're gonna take a look at it. And uh, I don't think it runs right now, but I'm gonna take it apart and uh, see what comes of it, see if we can get it running again. Hey, all right. we got right here oh it's got a little she it's got a little little wheeling system on it here, here take that <laughs> that's the best wheel Take her home, crack it open, see what's up. Uh, I feel like it still has gas in it. Uh. Hey, what's going on, people? Ken Black here, and uh, so today I have a Ryobi generator, 1800 running watts generator. Um, it came for free in my food truck, so I'm gonna start tearing it apart and see if I can get it to run. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, first things first, let's tear it down a little bit, get some of this plastic off. All right, well, that helps a lot. Well, maybe I'll take this fuel tank out. Just for... So, we got this, and then we'll remove this, and 
then cool. Ooh, nasty. Let that drain out a little bit. All right. Hey, so we naked out here, y'all. Let's see what we got. All right, so I got most of this stripped away and uh, exposed. Um, mostly just to see what I got working with in here. Um, I'm gonna take this float bowl off uh, right here, leaking a little bit of gas. Not too much though, because the fuel tank's out, so it's just probably gonna drain a little bit. And uh, clean these jets out, and then put the spark plug in, reassemble, and we'll start it up and see what it looks like. Not too dirty, honestly. It looks mostly clean. Like even the diaphragm, like the little gasket, is uh, still in good shape. I'm not gonna mess with it too much, but that's a good sign. So it probably isn't too far from running, anyway. So close. I don't want to disrupt that too much because I don't have another. <laughs> I did not have another tube to put on there, but I might be able to salvage something if need be. All right, so this can go to the side. Um, like I said, I'm just going to take this out, take this connection off, and uh, clean this float out. Probably reach. Hmm. Okay, well, cool. It's really not that dirty. I don't think it's gonna need too, too much. Yep, I'm just gonna spray through the jets. I'm just going to clean this fuel filter out real quick.
<laughs> this is actually just a chain cleaner brush for my dirt bike, but it's not too. I'm try trying to be too rough with it on this foam filter piece because uh, it still looks to be in good condition. I'm going to put my little spark plug in. Again, just real quick, guys. It's the uh, part number 4194 I got at the uh, local Advance. It was like $2, so, you know, definitely go and pop that guy in there. <laughs> uh, whatever it wants to express itself uh, I got some fresh gas here I used 93 sorry I didn't have any like non-ethanol that was like super convenient so um, I mean, realistically, I'll probably just be running 93 through this and then maybe uh, just flush like some fuel system cleaner or like seafoam through it if it sits too long. But realistically, I don't feel like um, I'm going to be 
having a lot of gas in this in general. So I just got a dollar's worth of gas, just enough to have some weight in there. And uh, get a little gas going. starts then it probably definitely needs to run a lot of gas through it clean gas and I'm just gonna let it run a whole cycles worth of gas and oil through here and then I'll probably change the oil one more time and uh, see where we're at as far as the uh, 1540 is concerned going on y'all so I actually did go ahead and clean up the generator a little bit um, I'm gonna zoom in there I found out upon further investigation this is a 2013 Ryobi generator um, but I went ahead and cleaned it with some red scorpion a little bit of engine degreaser and uh, yeah a little rubbing alcohol, a little elbow grease, but it turned out good. I mean, for a five-year-old generator, I'm not expecting a whole lot cosmetically, um, but it did turn out really good. I removed a couple stickers and it runs well. So, I mean, free for me, but it was a blessing in itself. So this bad boy is gonna power the kitchen and the food truck. And uh, that's kind of it for right now. Check in with you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.